and she's she's changed my life for the better. I'm just this guy that just loves what I do and, and I want to try to make a difference in the world and I have a dog that wants to do the same and it's truly amazing that now it's being memorialized in this movie that people will be able to see forever and, and show a true underdog story. I'm Corporal Dan O'Neill with the Rhode Island State Police badge number 223 and this is K-9 Ruby of the Rhode Island State Police. Her actually her badge number is 9223. Speak! So that's what brought the rescuers into the woods to, to find Ruby and I and the young boy. Speak! When people would adopt this wonderful dog, she is an Australian Shepherd and Border Collie mix, she would go home and either destroy their house, uh, try, to, try to nip at them, uh, was very food aggressive, uh, wasn't even potty trained. She says aspiring people with an asterisk, and then it says in one dog. So it's so a state trooper, Dan O'Neill and Canine Ruby. I just do it because I love it and I, I want to make a difference in the work. When I got up to him, I felt his pulse. He had a slight pulse, it was amazing. So I tried to call our GPS location in with the radio, but they couldn't get us because of the, the, the tree cover. So there was no GPS uh, working. So they were able to get, hear her on the radio when she was barking. So when she kept barking, they said, keep her barking because we can follow her barking and we can come rescue him. So when they came into the woods, it, it was amazing to see them because of how much she was able to just lead them in with the barking. The state police people came and said, you know, did you know, it was Ruby who found your son. And I was just, you know, it was just like, I, it was just, yeah, mind blowing. I, you know, it took a while for that to sink in. You've been to seven homes already. You cannot blow this chance. She's a handful. She's too high strung. She chews, she digs. You know, the universe works in mysterious ways, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I, again, just gratitude is the thing that pops up. Gratitude and just sort of awe on how everything played out. And then sometimes anxiety, like, wow, what if, you know, what if she had not gotten out of the shelter? What if, you know, all of that? Um, my son might not be alive.